Hey, it's Doug Belshaw. So this is a thing called vibe coding. It's basically when you're not a developer, you're not a programmer, or maybe you are, but you just want to do things more quickly and you can just create stuff very rapidly. So this is lovable, but there's lots of other things like Cursor and Bolt and loads of these things popping up. I'm going to show you this one. I'm paying for this on a monthly basis, which just gives me more prompts. So I created Badge to the Future using this. This is a badge issuer. Yes, occasionally there's errors and you have to deal with that. But you can see that I've just literally prompted this and it's um, created the, the website, which is about to, to show up. There we go. So all the different functionality, all of the integration, the databases, the login functionality, and um, the ability to issue a credential, which is valid, all of that kind of stuff. I have not coded that myself. I've created another one here, which was Album Shelf, which is now at album-shelf.com. And again, I had an idea of doing something. I wanted it to be able to query the Music Brains API. So for example, if I type in one of my favorite artists, which is Jamoquai, it searches the Music Brains API, it comes up with an album, you click on it, it adds it to a shelf, you add more things to a shelf, you can then download the, the image and have it as your Zoom background, that kind of thing. So anything that you can think about, pretty much, you can create. There's a few more kind of steps if you want to get a bit more technical, where you connect it to something called Superbase, which deals with the API and all that kind of stuff. But it talks you through that. If you've got like a tiny bit of technical knowledge, you'll find it super easy. If you haven't, it'll walk you through it. So let's just do something together. So I've got an idea for a site where, and this already exists, it's at uh, symbol.wtf. This is my site, it's someone else's site. It allows you to click on something like an M dash or a little squared thing or any of those like registered trademark kind of things that you need sometimes. It allows you to click on that, click copy paste and allows you to copy that into a document. So create. So here we are, that's my prompt. And it's going to take a minute just to kind of spin things up and kind of think through the idea and whatever. So I'll fast forward this bit. Now, some of this I actually understand because I know some HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So some of this I'm following, some of it I, I'm not. Um, for you, some of you, you might be watching this and have no clue, which is which is cool as well. Now, one of the benefits of this, I would say, is that it allows you to show rather than tell somebody what your idea is. It's all very well drawing stuff or mocking things up, but sometimes having an idea and it working and being clickable is, is pretty useful. Another advantage is that you can see what the problems might be in terms of the workflows and that kind of thing. One of the things I was doing with Badge to the Future was transactional emails. So that's when you get an email to say that you've got a um, a badge or a credential, and it takes you back to the page. And and doing that workflow made me realize that I'd actually got that bit wrong, but you wouldn't realize until you did it. It might look right if you wrote it all down, but until you felt it, that was a different kind of user experience. Now, usually the first version is pretty good, but look, on this case, it hasn't worked properly. So I'm going to click on Try to Fix. And that's just prompting it to say, for the code present, I get the error below, think step by step in order to resolve it. And so it kind of tries to work its way around it. And here we are. So we've now got something called a character copy kiosk. I can click on M dash. It's copied to the clipboard. And then if I go into here, look, I can paste it. Yeah, bullet. Posh, there we go. Downsides of this you don't know how to maintain it. Like you're not a developer potentially. And so you don't know how to fix security issues, that kind of stuff. But this is already pretty useful to me. And if I click publish, I can have that on the web. And I'll put the link to this along with this video so you can see how quickly and easily I've made that and how you can go from idea into execution really quickly. Maybe if you want, I can create another video on how you can take this, put it in a GitHub repository, and then publish that GitHub repository using something called Netlify to a custom domain, which is what I did with Album Shelf. But here we are, character copy kiosk. I basically copied the functionality of a website that already exists, but this can be quite useful if you've got an idea and you want to turn it into reality as quickly as possible. Cheers for now.